Hey, today I'm going to attempt to show you how to record with uh, with an HD PVR, or more commonly known as an HD capture card, I guess, but it's really a personal video recorder. Uh, depending on how you want to pronounce it, Hopog, Hopoggy, Hopoge, I really don't know and I don't care, but anyway, this is it. The front of this is just for standard, so uh, if you're buying, if you don't have the cable, I wouldn't use this because then you're just kind of wasting it, so move it around to the back. Uh, this top is going to be the outs, which these five uh, will go to your TV, and uh, this bottom five will be coming from your Xbox. Now, to pretty much do this, you need to have uh, these type of cables. You need to have the the green, blue, and the red. You can't just have the uh, the one yellow, which is on a, uh, a different one of mine when I used to do standard recording. You can't use this if you want HD. So. We're going to toss that. Also, you need uh, the red and the white audio cables from uh, from the same thing. So, this cable comes with the Xbox if you bought an old Elite. I don't know if uh, they still come with it, but I got mine from the old Elite. If you want to buy it new, it would probably be like 30 bucks or more. Uh, if you go to Amazon or eBay, it will probably be a lot cheaper. But anyway, so we have the outs, we have the in. Uh, this is going to be your Xbox, and this is going to be going to your TV. Uh, you have these two things, which I don't use, so I'm not going to explain them. Uh, I don't use that either. This is for uh, the USB cable that goes to your computer, and this is the power. So let me start showing you how to set this up. So first things first, we have the Xbox cable, so we're going to pop them in. Uh, the audio is going to be on the left, and then the video is going to be on the right. So basically, it's just matching up colors, and the Xbox stuff is going to go into the in and that is the blue and this is the green so it's pretty simple I mean it's a pretty simple box and I have to move forward because my Xbox uh, cables do not go that far apparently oh there's the problem because of my headset that I use it has to be close so we're just gonna shimmy this in, these in here I'm gonna have to clean up this uh, in a second so basically this is how it should look somewhat since I have some cables here that are kinda hanging in the way but this top row should be cleared for the other uh, cables that you're gonna need and the Xbox cable should go into the in spot and that is basically how it should look minus this little tangled mess here so let's clean this up and put in the other cables alright so it's it's slightly cleaned up I mean you can see the the back there is clear but uh we have all the Xbox stuff in. I wouldn't uh, plug this yellow one in. I wouldn't plug that in. That would not be good. And also, you'd have to like shimmy it to the front, which wouldn't work. So, these are actually the cables that came with it. They're not the best, but they'll do. Uh, I might actually have to plug these off camera because they're a little finicky. I mean, they they are kind of finicky, and you can't really see anyway. But it's just matching the. Uh, just about matching up the colors again so it's also kind of crappy to do this one-handed and these cables don't actually go in the easiest well now they do the first time they didn't so I'm gonna have to like jimmy rig this because it's like kind of tipping over because it has to be a certain uh, certain distance from my Xbox because of the stupid headset but anyway after jimmy rigging it a little bit uh, it should look like this you have the uh, the out cables going to your TV and the in cables coming from your Xbox. So basically, that's what that should look like there. And as you see, it goes all the way up to my TV, into the back, and into the corresponding uh, colors. As you see, we have the two audios down here. Hopefully, you can see these two black ones are the audios, and these three white ones are the video. Uh, this cable comes with the. Uh, the little box so uh, unless you have your own cables or you're gonna buy your own cables they will work so once again this is pretty much how the back should look uh, it's fairly easy fairly simple but you know I know doing this can be confusing so uh, once again the Xbox goes on the bottom the other stuff that will go to your TV will go on the top so basically out is going to your TV and is coming from your Xbox a couple more things to do before this box is on its way. This is the power source, as you can see right there, into an outlet. Bring it around if it didn't get stuck on something. And it needs to get plugged in right there on the uh, 
to the far right. See, that little hole right there. So we'll hopefully force that in. Since it's kind of hard to do one-handed, I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Pop it in. There we go. Yeah, I don't think you really need uh, a lot of help with popping it in. So that's what that looks like. Also, we have this... Uh, this will go, this is like a USB type thing. It, it comes out to a, a regular looking USB, which I'll show you in a second, but I'm gonna plug this in right now and uh, it's gonna go right next to the power source. So let's pop that in, put the camera down for a second. Don't know if you can see it, but again, you really don't need hardcore instructions for this. Uh, and then as we will come over here and follow the USB cable, it actually comes out to a normal looking USB, which I've had to use a like a lengthener, a bridge, and uh, let me just pop that out. That's what it'll look like, and I've just used a uh, an elongator, an extension, really. I mean, it, this doesn't come with it. I already had this, and then follow it to the PC, and uh, that's pretty much where it goes. So now we're gonna look at it. What uh? We're going to take a look at what it looks like on the computer, actually.